Jewel Guard. Jewel Guard is a device that simultaneously delivers oxygen and samples ETCO2 from both the mouth and nose during upper endoscopic procedures. Connect the oxygen connector to the oxygen source and set to the required flow rate. Ensure that there is a flow of oxygen through the nasal and oral ports and that there are no blockages in the system. This can be confirmed by hearing a hissing noise from the nasal and oral ports. If not heard, increase the flow rate temporarily and when detected, reduce flow to the required rate. Connect the lure connector securely to a sidestream CO2 monitor and check that the monitor's ETCO2 reading is 0% or that the graph is flat. Ensure the oral sampling line is securely fitted into position in the bite block. To connect the oral sampling line to the three-way connector, insert and twist the spin lure lock until secure. Carefully open the patient's mouth and insert the bite block, ensuring that it is in a central position and the tongue is held back and not between the teeth and bite block. Ensure that the nasal cannula is as close as possible to the nostrils. Use the provided head strap to secure the bite block to the patient in the correct position. Place the strap around the patient's head and feed the ends through the slits in the wings of either side of the bite block. Pull these through and adjust until tight and secure with the Velcro fastener. Pass the cannula tubing over the patient's ears and down under their chin. Move the sliding collar towards their chin to create a secure and comfortable fit. Once dual guard is secured, the endoscopic procedure can begin. Depending upon patient anatomy, the nares may or may not be fully inserted into the patient's nostrils. Dual guard will still be fully functional. Post procedure. When the endoscopy procedure is completed, detach the orange lure from the three-way connector. Loosen the collar of the nasal cannula tubing, sliding it away from the patient's chin. Remove the head strap by unfastening the Velcro ends and pulling them through the slits on the wings of the bite block. Detach the O2 CO2 nasal piece from the bite block and discard. Reposition the O2 CO2 nasal piece onto the patient, ensuring that the nasal cannula is as close as possible to the nostrils. Adjust the sliding collar as necessary. The self-sealing lure safe CO2 port maintains a capless seal, ensuring accurate CO2 measurements.